So, if you guys remember the first video that I did this... Uh, if you guys remember the first video that I did on defense this year, it was about the nickel 335R. It was a nice blitz. But today I'm going to show you a nice blitz out of the 245 double A gap, which is also pretty cool and also in the same playbook that I'm running right now, the New York Giants defense. If you're new to this channel, by the way, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe. With that being said, let's get into it. We're talking not about 3-5 odd, but we're talking about 2-4-5 double A gap. And there is one play in this that is really cool. And for me, at least throughout the past years, I really didn't think much about this formation. 2-4-5 double A gap, yeah, that's the, that's the beginner stuff where you can just beat people running mid blitz. But this actually is a pretty cool defense. Now, what you want for this is you want to have, uh, you want to make sure that you are uh, defense is on auto flip, but because I don't have that set in my uh, in my settings, and you can't change your coach adjustments during this, I don't have that on. So I'm gonna have to manually flip that to make sure that the uh, nickel cornerback is on the side of the bunch. Now let's come on in will three bus. That's the play that we're gonna be running. Okay, and now on offense, let's just come out in double post. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys is a nice blitz. And this is a blitz setup that is really easy to do. It just takes you, you just have to move down one guy, which can take a little bit of practice and getting used to. But you'll get that down in no time. Setup is going to be spread the D-line, just like that. Pinch your linebackers. I'll go through the button layouts, layouts in a moment, don't worry about it. Then you want to blitz all linebackers. You want to move down this guy right here, blitz him. Make sure that he's on this angle if he's a little bit further back. You can see, wait a minute, when will he attack to the outside? Maybe he won't even, I'll show you this in a second. Then you know, what you generally want to do is you want to uh, press. And because it's a blitz, I generally like to go with hard flats. Or if my curl flats are set to 5 yards or something, then I'll stick with that. But for this, I'll go with hard flats. And this is a blitz against uh, no running back blocking. If there's no running back blocking, this is going to get in 100% of the time. What we'll do when they block a running back, I'll explain that in a second. Let's now talk about this though. So on offense, I'll send out these five routes just to set, just to show you guys that this is a nice five out blitz. So we're going to engage and then we're going to try to get off as quickly as possible. You can see as soon as I'm off, I'm going to engage with the center. And then once I'm, as soon as I'm back there, there is nothing for my opponent to throw at that point. So we're going to do that setup again. Spread the D-line, which is left on the D-pad, up on the left stick, just like that. Then we're going to pinch our linebacker, which is going to be right on the D-pad, down on the left stick. We're going to blitz all linebackers, which is going to be right on the D-pad, down on the right stick. Then we're going to take this ward right here. We're going to blitz him, make sure that he's on, an, on this angle, attacking the center. We're going to put a drag on the, outside, on the slot right receiver. And optional, you can press and then put your cornerbacks in hard flats. If you have the time, this is quite important uh, because a lot of these outside thirds like to get beaten. If you have time to move him back a little bit, that would be great. The solo side rece uh, cyber receiver only, uh, the cornerback on the right is not really vulnerable to that. So we're going to snap the ball, boom, going to engage, fake the engage, and then you can see how quickly we're getting in. Sometimes it's going gonna, it's gonna to come in quicker, sometimes it's going to be slower. What I want to make sure you guys understand, the faster these guys on the outside are, the easier it's going to be to get in. Now, what do they do with the blocker, the running back, you might say? Well, we're going to do the exact same thing except for one more adjustment. So once again, say it with me, guys. Spread the D-line. Pinch the linebackers, blitz all linebackers, move this guy down, put him in the blitz, make sure he's attacking the center. And then all you're going to do is you're going to slant your D-line inside, which is left on the D-pad, down on the right stick. So now you can see that this guy right here is also blocking. So basically, we're just sending one more person. Very, very simple. We're going to shade, press and shade underneath once again. And this time, I'm going to block the running back, and I'm just going to put carbon on the drag. Now, it is important to know... What is your weakness when you're putting that guy that was in the flat earlier on the blitz? Well, the flat is going to be weak. So your job as a user is to understand, is the running back blocking or not? If the running back is going to the flat, then that is my job to cover. If the running back is staying in block, then we can just engage the center just like we did previously. And the blitz is going to come in. So I'm going to do this right here. Boom. Cool. And I even just fake going at the center. This worked because I was kind of in a... I was not in a good position to attack uh, the center quickly and then also get back in time. So let's try that again. Spread the D-line, pinch the linebackers, blitz all linebackers, uh, slant inside, press, shade underneath, 
And then I'm going to move this guy down. I'm going to put him on a blitz. I'm going to block the running back, put this guy on a drag, snap the ball, engage with him quickly, and then just get off. Oh my god, they actually blocked that. <laughs> they actually blocked that. Let's try that again. That looked horrible. It's never a bad thing to do the splits again because you just want to get the setup down. So you're going to spread the D-line, pinch the linebackers, blitz all linebackers, shade inside. Then we're going to move down, shade underneath, press, uh, put... There we go, we're on the wrong angle. So now, now I'm on the right angle. Let's go. Gonna block the running back, gonna put the arm right here. And then, there we go, boom. Wow, the blitz didn't come in again. That's weird, you guys saw how effective that was. I'll try this one more time, you guys. I'm sorry, I, I just have to. I just, ha oh my god, I just have to. Okay, let's go, let's go. Now we're we're rolling, we're rolling. We'll blitz this guy. Oh, oops, that would be an offside. Oh, not an offside, it's just an encroachment. Okay, boom. Now the blitz is coming in. Very, very cool. Yeah, that took some attempts right there. I didn't know whether why it didn't work the second time. The first time, probably because I was on the bad blitzing angle, but this one, it worked finally. Gotta work sometimes, you know. Got it work, got it to work, got it to work. But really, this is all about preference. What you can also do is you can, for example, man up this guy on uh, the slot cornerback on the slot by receiver, put a hard flat, a cloth flat out there, and then do something like this maybe. It's just about personal preference. And it is about knowing what you're weakening. By doing that, you're weakening the deep right side of the field. So that is something that you have to be aware of if the blitz does not come in. I generally just go for this. This generally is good enough for me. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to snap the ball. Very, very cool. Pressure is not coming in. Because we're a little bit too slow off the line. But the thing is that you guys understand why this blitz is working. Because we're engaging with the line of scrimmage as the user in a blitz. The offensive line re uh, thinks that we're blitzing an extra guy. So one person is dedicated to somebody who's faking the blitz and then just going into coverage which means they are just wasting a player pretty much that's why this works now generally blitzing at the beginning of the game is pretty difficult because you don't know what your opponent is going to do so at the beginning of the game i do something completely different and this is something that i did not come up with myself i saw some, i saw a guy running this against me uh online and i recorded the thing and i kind of I'm, I'm guessing what he, that that's what he's doing because I tried in practice mode. I, I looked, I recorded it, looked at what, did, what the players did, tried to recreate, recreate it in practice mode, and it worked perfectly. I knew that he was running this play because that's what the in-game thing he said. And I got it to work. So here's what you do. You get this guy right here and you move him into that spot right here. You're going to QB spy forward. And you're gonna use this guy. It is important you use it. You're using the three rack. You don't do anything with him. Just leave him there. You can press if you want to. And this is a disengage. What is the disengage? Well, it is when an O lineman passes a rusher off to another O lineman. But if we're using if we're using this as a disengage glitch, that means that it's kind of glitched and it doesn't really work because he's passing the guy off that he's supposed to block to somebody who's not there to block him basically so we're getting a free rusher i'm gonna snap this ball and this should work perfectly you can see how this guy fred warren just came in screaming now what do we do after that i'm gonna make that i'm gonna make those adjustments again there we go just move him right here qb spy this guy right here i'm gonna keep him there coverage wise you can do whatever you want okay it's important that this guy's in qb spy so you can't do that much with him but you can go with hard flats you can Put this guy right here in the curl flat. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I just messed it up. I didn't. Uh, but if you move him in too close, he's registered. The whole line kind of registers that guy and messes it up. So that's why important. it's important to not do that. I could have messed it up right there and the blitz could not, the disengage could not have come in. That would have been pretty terrible. So one more time. Gonna do this, gonna do this, gonna press. I'm gonna snap this ball and we get in free. Very, very simple. That's just easy to start game off out with. Alright, listen guys, I had to make a cut right there because sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. And in the case of this recording, just everything got bagged. I mean, I got pancaked. So let's try that again. I'm going to do another take. Let's hope this works better now because I've seen this work in game. This has worked for me so many times. The fact that I just got destroyed like that in my own video is kind of wild though. We're going to set the blitz like we did last time. We're going to spread our D-line. I'm going to pinch our linebackers. going to blitz all linebackers. 
We're gonna bring our user down. We're gonna blitz him just like that. Make sure that he's in this gap. And then we're going to just rush him. We're gonna rush him. And you see, we get one guy free. Now, I don't know why that couldn't just have worked previously. I don't know why I did the same thing. It just didn't work. So let's try it again. Um, set up the bits. There we go. And then we're just gonna bum rush him right there. We can see we get an extra guy free. Now, generally, RPOs, they are a pain in the ass to defend. What you have to do to defend them is basically set your zone drops to zero yards for one of those zones, then put them in a hard flat, and then pass commit, and then that generally takes care of it. But the main point that I want to show you for this is how uh, incredibly easy it is to blow up the running uh, with this. Uh, so we're going to try to shoot the gap. If we don't shoot the gap, that means that somebody else is coming in free. And that is how we can get stops against the run. Pretty simply, we're going to set the bits one more time because I just want to do this one more time because it's so much fun to see the run going nowhere. So we're going to do this. Bam, 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 bam. Get in there. It's a whole lot of fun. Now, there are a lot of... Uh, other things that I want to talk to you guys about coverage wise, but this video would, video would be way too long if I just explained everything that I want to talk about uh, with coverage. In this video, this would just be like a 25 to 30 minute video, and I know you guys don't want that, so I'm gonna make it short and cut it right here. That's for another day. All right, guys, as I just said, that is for another day. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. For this, is a nice starter, nice starter to the uh, my defensive ebook, which I guess I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just make this free on this channel because I'm generally not the best at defense. This is something nice, but of course, defense, as every year, you have to adjust to what your opponent is doing, and that just takes practice, that just takes time. This is the easy part, executing it on the field consistently against someone who knows what he's doing. That's the difficult part, and that's something that I have to work on every day to make sure I'm on top of my game and on top of the game in general. I have to do the best and just keep playing and just keep refining what I know about the game. Same for you. So go out, try this, have fun with it. I hope you guys are going to learn something while you're playing the game. That's the best attitude to have. You play the game to learn, not to win. It is, of course, easy to say because, as you guys know from my Twitch streams, uh, last year especially, I like, I like to rage. I get frustrated when I lose. But as soon as I remind myself of the fact that I'm playing to learn, not to win, or that I should be playing to learn, it gets better. Just try to get better at the game. Think about what you're doing wrong. Think about the game and have fun using these plays. Until next time, goodbye, guys. See you the next time, I guess. Goodbye. Love y'all.